All right, FAQ number 37, are Bible believers Pharisees? Boy, if I had a dime for every time I've heard that, I'd have a lot of dimes. Turn in your Bible to Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. We're going to see what, how the Bible defines Pharisees. Okay, Matthew chapter 5, verse 20 says here, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh, Jesus Christ is saying that these people are very, very righteous. Okay, turn to Matthew chapter 9. And of course, he's kind of poking fun at them, saying, you know, you have to be perfect. You know, they're trying to achieve perfection and they aren't making it. Um, Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. And it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So, what are Pharisees? They are self-righteous people. Now, um, if you truly understand what Bible-believing Christians are, uh, we are not self-righteous. Uh, we will be the first to admit to you, just like Paul said, you know, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. We're all too eager to tell you about our sinful lost past that we had. We'll give you our testimony and tell you, yeah, that what you see now is what is not what existed years ago. Okay, I'm a sinner, saved by grace. I'm never going to say oh, I'm a good person. Uh, I'm very rotten as an individual. Yeah, I don't do a lot of the things that they lost people do out there in the world, but I know my flesh, and I know my flesh is prone to sin. Okay, so uh, Bible believers are not Pharisees. Now, could you get some person out there that claims to believe, believe the King James Bible and whatever else that, that's self-righteous, you know, sure, absolutely. And that person would be a Pharisee. A Pharisee could use a King James Bible, okay, but you can spot them out by simply saying, hey, wait a second here, are you a sinner? Who are you talking to? Do you realize who you're talking to? Yes, I do. I'm talking to a Pharisee, you know. <laughs> if you're not willing to admit to, to, to being a sinner, that's saved by God's grace. See, so to, to try and pin, you know, this title Pharisee just solely on Bible-believing Christians, uh, that doesn't work. Let me show you a couple other verses here. Um, you know, Matthew chapter 12. <clears throat> At that time, Jesus went out went on the Sabbath day through the corn, and his disciples were unhungered, and began to pluck the ears of corn, and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was unhungered, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of God, and did eat the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests? Or have ye not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. Okay, so, you know, it's so funny. You get these Pharisees and they're talking to God manifest in the flesh, in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they're saying, you know, you're transgressing the traditions. You're transgressing, transgressing our official established rules, you know. And the Lord's saying, hey, you know, I'm God, I'm standing here, you know, I'm greater than the temple, <laughs> you know, I can make the rules here and stuff like this, you know. See, and, and again, you know, you look at their, they're not p comparing scripture with scripture, they're just saying, uh, you know, we don't like your disciples, so we're going to try to nitpick any little thing that they can do and base it on our traditions. Which let me show you about that. Matthew chapter 15 Okay, Matthew chapter 15, verse 1, Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress, transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. 
But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your transgress or your by your tradition? Excuse me. It is a transgression though. But uh, verse four, for God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye but ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or mother, or his mother, it is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the, the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. There's the real definition for a Pharisee. A Pharisee is self-righteous, and they will elevate their own church traditions above Scripture. And they'll be all worried about you didn't say the rosary the right way or, you know, you didn't wear the proper outfit here, the proper uniform or things like this. There are all kinds of Pharisees out there. Okay, and of course, the Catholics are the real experts at this whole thing of, of, of elevating tradition above Scripture. They even talk about it. Sacred tradition, ex cathedra, all this stuff like this, you know, speaking from the chair. The Pope, when you know, he makes his ex cathedra statement, it's actually a little bit above scripture in terms of, you know, authority and things. It's all there. Uh, so your Pharisees out there are those that are self-righteous and elevate their traditions above scripture. Um, I don't know too many real Bible believers that do that. So our Bible-believing Christians, King James Bible believers, say it that way, are King James Bible believers Pharisees? No, 